Hello, I'm Leona Allen Ford, Deputy Publisher of the Dallas Morning News and Secretary of the Board of the Freedom of Information Foundation of Texas. Each year, our board presents the James Madison Award to a journalist, politician, academic, attorney, or citizen for outstanding achievements or distinction in the areas of open government and freedom of information. The past recipients have all understood that the public's right to know and transparency are critical tenets in our ability to hold government accountable. They've each championed the cause that public information belongs to the people and helps us understand how elected officials spend our tax dollars and how they conduct business on our behalf. This year's recipient embodies those principles and more. I'm pleased to announce that this year's recipient is the late Karen Blumenthal, a lifelong journalist and award-winning author of nonfiction for young people. Blumenthal, a Dallas native, worked at the Dallas Morning News as an intern and staff writer and returned in 1992 as a business editor for more than two years until the Wall Street Journal called her back to run its Dallas bureau. She spent 25 years with the Wall Street Journal as a writer, editor, and columnist. She certainly had her battles with elected officials and government bodies over access to information, but it was while researching her latest book for young adults, Jane Against the World, that explained the issue of reproductive rights in a factual and dispassionate way that she showed just how persistent she was. On her own initiative, she undertook the release under the Texas Public Information Act records in the state archives related to Roe v. Wade, the Texas case in which the Supreme Court recognized the constitutional right to abortion in 1972. She requested the release of the case files and reasonably expected smooth sailing on fulfilling the request given it was some 40 years later and because of their importance. She persistently challenged the state's refusal to release the information and documented her battle in a Dallas Morning News column. As her friend Paul Watler said in his nominating letter, her nearly 40-year career as a dedicated and relentless professional and compassionate, accomplished journalist and author are highly worthy of recognition for the James Madison Award. Sadly, Karen Blumenthal passed away in May she was an inspiration to writers and journalists, particularly women journalists, across the country. She's left a legacy of tenacity and persistence that we all can emulate and be proud. And now accepting the award on Karen's behalf is her husband, Scott McCartney. Congratulations, Karen. On behalf of our daughters, I want to deeply thank you for honoring Karen with the James Madison Award. Karen would have been so thrilled and so proud of this award. She spent her career informing and educating readers. She had a fierce drive to break news. She had no tolerance for liars. Many in the Dallas business community and beyond learned that she couldn't be spun. Karen Blumenthal could cut through BS faster than any reporter out there. When she began writing books for young adults while still at the Wall Street Journal, she brought that same determination to give readers the unvarnished truth. Karen believed deeply that history brings context to what's happening today, and nonfiction books can give young people the tools to make sense of a complicated world. To teach young adults about alcoholism and drinking, she wrote a book about prohibition. When young people were shaken by school shootings, she wrote a biography of the Tommy gun to teach about firearms policy in the Second Amendment. Booze and guns were just the preamble to the work she was most passionate about, reproductive rights. Her last book, which came out in February, just three months before her sudden death, is called Jane Against the World. It looks at everything from contraception in the Middle Ages to how the Catholic Church secretly founded Right to Life organizations. The book respectfully presents different points of view. The New York Times called Jane a gripping account that reads like a legal thriller. That desire to tell the whole story led to the open records battle that you honor today. Karen wanted all the materials she could find, including the papers that the state of Texas had from its defense of the Texas abortion law. 
Assistant Attorney General Jay Floyd's handwritten outline for arguments in Roe v. Wade, for example, is reproduced in her book. Author David Garrow, who is a meticulous researcher, had plowed through 700 pages of notes from the state in 1994. In 2017, Karen wrote to the state library to request the Texas legal file on Roe. The library referred her to the attorney general's office. Surprised, she checked with Garrow on where he obtained the files, from the library. Garrow still had the microfilm, and he generously shared it with Karen. A digital copy would be better, of course, so Karen requested the papers from the attorney general's office. It said it was withholding them under attorney-client privilege and work product for a case resolved in 1973. And by the way, the client was the people of Texas. With help from the Freedom of Information Foundation, Karen appealed, noting that she had already seen the documents, and the law clearly states that when released to one person, they must be released to anyone who asks. She lost, but not really. Karen Blumenthal always found a way to do right. She paid $340 to digitize Garrow's microfilm and shared the unredacted Roe v. Wade files with the Dallas Public Library, the SMU Law Library, and the Yale Law Library so that it is in the public domain. And the papers are on her website, karenblumenthal.com, which we are maintaining. Then Karen shined more light by writing a detailed story for the Dallas Morning News about the Attorney General's routine denial of freedom of information requests and lame excuses to hide government business from the public. Democracy doesn't exist without open records. Accountability in government matters. Transparency matters. What you do with the Freedom of Information Foundation of Texas matters. What Karen Blumenthal did all her professional life mattered. From the bottom of my broken heart, I accept this award on her behalf and thank you.